Punjab, despite being a luscious ground for agriculture, a sizable population lives in extreme poverty. There has been an overwhelming increase in the suicide rates in the last two decades, and often this leaves the burden to the women of the family. Most of the time, these women are uneducated and unable to get jobs, and they have the burden of looking after their children and often looking after the elderly as well. <laughs> All children in this world deserve a chance to get educated. And the children in Punjab live in very, very bad conditions. They go to bed hungry, they don't get to play, they have to work instead of going to school, instead of enjoying life, instead of having a normal childhood. They are forced to grow up very, very fast. These children have a very bright future in front of them if they get to get educated. The SOS initiative started a long time ago. It was a dream. The first group of children were adopted and put into school and given the chance to get an education. The SOS initiative really gives these children hope. A lot of the children are actually in university now. The first in their villages to go to university. The children are very intelligent, very hardworking, and very grateful. <laughs> Meeting them, interacting with them, being a part of their life isn't a blessing to them but a blessing to you and to the individual who chooses to be involved in seva and in education. This is a plea from the heart. Please get involved. Please sponsor a child. Mentor them. Help them get an education. And please bring joy into this world.